For 25 years, the beast was kept in a stinking cage. That's what happened when he was released. Hi, friends. Probably many of us were frightened in our childhood by imprisonment, especially when a petulant child is difficult to calm down and mothers jokingly threaten their kids with a strict policeman who will come and take them to jail. In general, no one would want to be locked up for a long time, and even 90% of criminals get out pretty quickly, but only the outright scum of society spent 20 or 30 years in prison. But the hero of today's story was not at all like that. But even so, he spent most of his life locked up, and it was all because of a human whim. The Asami's macaque named Joe was until recently unaware that there was a world outside a small, dirty cage. Back in 1090, poachers shot and killed his mother, and he was kept as a pet until 9,191. But then Joe grew up and simply wasn't cute anymore for his owners, so they sold him, after which he ended up in this crap cell where he was exhibited to the fun of the children of Bangkok. Slumps in this cracked cell, Joe spent the rest of his life clinging to the rusty wire with his paws and looking out through a small hole with his big eyes. The furry prisoner was surrounded by disgusting filth, garbage and refuse, and at night hordes of rats ran near the cage. During all this time, Joe saw almost no sunlight because light only came into the cage from one side of the mesh. Interestingly, concerned citizens fed and watered the monkey for a long time, but it was not enough and of course, it was hard to talk about regularity in feeding and water supply. The animal was dehydrated, Joe's teeth were in bad condition, and his muscle tissues were atrophied. No one knows how the fate of the furry prisoner would have turned out if the residents had not written a letter to the activist who immediately got involved in the problem. It is worth noting that when they arrived at the spot, even the experienced volunteers who had seen a lot gasped. After all, the kindest eyes looked at them from the dirty cage and little fingers immediately embraced the hand of a volunteer. But that was not the end. The thing is, according to the law, an animal cannot be just taken away from its owner. Moreover, people had to look for the owner. But the founder of the Animal Welfare Foundation, Edwin Wick, did not plan on giving up and working hard to find Joe's owner. As it turned out later, a long time ago, the owner of the monkey had tried to place Joe in the zoo in Bangkok, but they asked him for $1.100 a month for the prisoner's maintenance, and he simply did not have that money. So he preferred to leave the animal in confinement where he lived his life. It should be noted that they quickly reached an agreement with the owner, and he signed the documents handing the prisoner over to the volunteers. When the rescuers were pulling Joe out of a small cage, he was barely able to move. He had forgotten how to do it because for decades he was used to sitting clenched in a lump. Still, Joe was a strong male and got out of the cage all by himself. Not even realizing that this was just the beginning of his journey, Edwin wrapped a towel around the poor animal and carried him in his arms to the car and a few hours later, our hero was in his new home, the Animal Rescue Center. At first, Joe trusted no one and was very weak. In addition, the prisoner had never seen other monkeys and had no idea that he had kinsmen. He first met them when he was taking a bath. The volunteers in turn watched the sufferer lovingly as his astonished eyes poured with interest and joy. Fortunately, Joe recovered quickly and began to actively make new friends with people. He was also eager to contact and quickly gained weight and regained strength. And after another two weeks, Joe's already playing with other monkeys was active and eating a lot. For the first time in his life, he was able to eat enough and play in the comfort in which he would spend the rest of his life. He would be able to forget what he had gone through. Monkeys like Joe live an average of three to five years and a team of experts hopes he still has plenty of time to catch up. It's scary to imagine that the monkey would have lived his whole life behind bars like that, but thank God, there are still people who are willing to come to the aid of these poor devils. Anyway, this guy is doing well now and hopefully, he'll spend the rest of his life in love and care. So this, that's the story. Be sure to leave your comments, my friends. That's all for now and goodbye.